Blubber. As a noun, blubber refers to the thick layer of fat on whales and other marine animals. Although some people also use it to refer to human body fat, especially if the person has a lot of fat. As a verb, blubber means to cry noisily. For example, my five-year-old son was blubbering for hours after I took away his video game. Debauchery. Debauchery means extreme sensual pleasure, usually involving sex and/or alcohol. For example, that film is full of debauchery. It's definitely not appropriate for children. Discombobulated. Discombobulated means very confused and disorganized. For example, I was so discombobulated this morning that I put my car keys in the refrigerator. Dollop. A dollop is a small quantity of a soft substance. For example, the apple pie was served with a dollop of ice cream on top. Doodle. To doodle means to draw informally, casually, especially when you're preoccupied with something else. For example, I doodled in the margins of my notebook while the teacher was talking. The word doodle refers to both the action of drawing informally and the pictures or designs that you make. Doozy. A doozy is something extraordinary, usually in a good way, but could be in a bad way as well. For example, the whole season was great, but the last episode was a doozy, meaning a really amazing or memorable episode. The truth has finally come out about the political scandal, and it's a doozy, meaning something really shocking. Dumbfounded. Flabbergasted. Both these words mean astonished, very surprised, to the point that it's difficult to speak. For example, I was flabbergasted when I heard that John and Debbie were going to get divorced. They had seemed like such a happy couple. Feeble. Feeble means weak, not strong. For example. He made a feeble attempt to defend himself, but everyone knew he was guilty. Festooned. This word means decorated. For example, the banquet hall was festooned with chains of red and white flowers. Finagle. Finagle means to get something by indirect and maybe kind of tricky methods. For example. Eric finagled an extra day off from work by telling his boss it was a religious holiday, even though he's not religious at all. Befuddled. Befuddled means completely confused. For example, the police were befuddled by the complete lack of evidence at the crime scene. Fuddy duddy. This is a negative word for an old-fashioned person who does not accept modern trends. For example, maybe it makes me a fuddy-duddy, but I really don't think miniskirts are acceptable for job interviews. Gargoyle. A gargoyle is a statue of an animal or imaginary creature, often used in architecture to send rainwater away from the walls of the building. Giggle. To giggle is to laugh with high-pitched, short sounds like a little girl. Gobbledygook, and gibberish. Gobbledygook and gibberish are words that don't make any sense, and you can't understand them. For example, my one-year-old nephew can say a few words, but most of what comes out of his mouth is gibberish. Goggles. Goggles are a type of thick protective glasses to protect your eyes from danger. You can use goggles for swimming. Scientists also use goggles in the laboratory. Haphazard. Haphazard means dependent on chance, not well organized or planned. For example, you'll never be rich if you keep spending your money haphazardly. Hodgepodge. 
A hodgepodge is a mix of random items of various types. For example, this drawer contains a hodgepodge of office supplies, staples, clips, post-it notes, pencils, etc. Hogwash Hogwash is a negative term for describing facts, information, or beliefs that are ridiculous or false. For example, some people believe it's unlucky to break a mirror, but I think that's a bunch of hogwash. Hoodwink means to deceive. The entrepreneurs hoodwinked investors by presenting the company as being more profitable than it actually was. Hubbub, hullabaloo, and ruckus. All of these words refer to loud noise from a confusion or agitated event. For example, I looked out the window to find out the cause of the ruckus and saw a bunch of teenagers having a party across the street. Itty bitty. Itty bitty is an informal word for very small. We often use the word itty bitty when talking with children. For example, look at the itty bitty ladybug. Pompous. Pompous means arrogant. For example, my last boss was a pompous jerk who thought he was superior to everyone else. Rambunctious. Rambunctious describes a person or animal with a lot of energy who tends to cause problems or make messes. For example, I don't know how Linda stays sane with five rambunctious kids under the age of ten. Ramshackle. Ramshackle means badly constructed so that it is likely to fall apart. For example, we crossed the river on a ramshackle bridge. Shenanigans. Shenanigans refers to mischief, tricks, or problematic activities. For example, George's shenanigans got him into trouble at school. Shrubs. Or shrubbery. These words refer to bushes, plants that grow thick vegetation and are close to the ground. For example, the walkway to our house is lined with shrubbery. Skedaddle. Skedaddle is an informal word for leaving or running away. For example, the neighborhood boys skedaddled after breaking a window with the baseball. Squabble. Squabble refers to an argument or fight, usually over something small. For example, the company's president and vice president are squabbling over the color of the business's new logo. Squeegee. A squeegee is a T-shaped tool that's used to remove water from windows and floors. Squelch. To squelch is to suppress or inhibit. For example, this new medicine can squelch anxiety and boost your confidence. Wishy-washy. The word wishy-washy describes a person who is weak in their decisions or character. For example, my ex-boyfriend was so wishy-washy he couldn't even choose what movie to watch on a Friday night.